A National Geographic photographer knows that a picture is worth a thousand words and he's hoping photographs can make a difference in the extinction crisis. It's even brought him all the way to the Wildlife Rehab Center in Roseville. We stand to lose half of all species by 2100 if we don't start paying attention. We only drove, you know, seven and a half hours up, so we gotta get back tonight. The Wildlife Rehab Center here in Minnesota is one of the best in the country, and it's large. It's really enormous. Birds are pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, we just need a, bird, a picture of the bird sideways with its eye in focus, you know, like that. Um, hardest are probably chimps. They're really tough. So these portraits are all for a project that I'm doing called the Photo Arc, which is a 25-year effort to try to show the world what biodiversity looked like at this point in time. We do portraits of animals on black and white backgrounds because it levels the playing field and this little warbler uh, is the same size as an elephant. They're all, they're, there's no size comparison. Um, we'll get them to the geographic and the geographic will get the word out to about 100 million people per post. This is called National Geographic Photo Arc. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Like he, he comes to the Wildlife Rehab Center a few times a year, especially during migration times, because you get birds that otherwise you wouldn't see here. Like, oh, interesting. Like that Tennessee warbler is in Canada during the summer and then heads to South America. He hit a window or something, came to the oh, uh, rehab center to get <laughs> yeah to get repaired, and then they called Joel and they were like, hey, are you looking for a warbler? And then he's, he's like, yeah. And then <laughs> hey, you need a warbler? He drives seven hours from Lincoln, Nebraska, is where Holy he's based. God. Gets the shots. How many species did you say he's photographed? Over eight thousand so Amazing. far. Unbelievable. Yeah. So pretty cool. Yeah.